love forever and ever and ever. Welcome to Durbania. I'm Durbin. I'm Laura. And this is our special, unique way of doing spoiler-free reviews because I wanted to see Morgan. She didn't. I didn't want to see Light Between Oceans. So I did a spoiler-free review on Morgan. So you can click the link and go check that out. Mm -hmm. And right now, she's going to do her spoiler-free review of the Light Between Oceans. Now, he has messed up this title every time he's talked to me about it since we knew it was coming out. I can't, I couldn't remember. And Did I do it now? It, no, you got it right this time. Uh, yeah. But the reason it is the light between oceans is because Michael Fassbender works at a lighthouse yes. in between the two oceans. Between two. Yes. Between, Not just one giant mass no, he, body he of water. No, he talks about oceans. So it's, I don't know where it is, but it's between two oceans. Okay. It's between so, two oceans. That just. That's why, so that makes it easier to remember what the name is. Well, okay. You <laughs> could have told me that earlier and we would have saved a lot of pain in the car ride home. Yes. I went into this movie blind. I had not, I, I can't believe I didn't see the trailer. Um, I, <laughs> I tried to I show her the trailer once and trying to create the schedule for things to review. Oh yeah, and I was, I don't know what was going on. I just didn't see it. And it wasn't before any movies that we had seen because I go in there and I think I'd seen one, like maybe like fraction of a clip where the two of them were together with their heads, oh, that's a trail, that's a poster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that's bad. So, um, went into it blind. Did not know it was based off of a book, a bestseller book, apparently. Apparently. And I have no idea if they did justice to it or not. I personally was not a huge fan of Ooh. this movie. Um, I, so basically it starts off with Michael Fassbender. He is taking an interim position working at this lighthouse to cover for somebody who's on furlough, um, which ends up being permanent for him because that guy went off the deep end. Doesn't matter. You don't Wait, okay. So since it's between oceans off the deep end, did he lose his <laughs> mind or did he drown? I mean, what's going on? It was a mental, um, okay. It, he went crazy because he was in isolation for too long kind of a situation. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous. And so the lighthouse is on an island with nothing. It is like an island. There is a lighthouse and a house. No people around you. You're not in a city or anything like that. So, but Michael Fassbender just got back out of World War One. was in there for four years. And um, so he wanted some peace and quiet. But so he's meeting the people who are going to put him um, out on the lighthouse and uh, one of them's daughter is very cute ooh, ooh, ooh. and he just kind of makes eyes at her you know but let me tell you Michael Fassbender because he was a military person very straight tall and lack of emotions oh. I was very disappointed with that. so like he just wasn't very emotional throughout this it's movie? like basically all of his emotions were in his eyes and, um... But that's, I mean, for an actor, though, that's pretty good if you could throw them all up in your but eyes. But I didn't feel them. No. I saw them trying to reach it, and it just didn't work. At one point, I thought he was so, a creeper instead of, <laughs> like, when he first sees the girl, he's walking by all straight, and he's staring at her like this, and he just doesn't stop staring, and he keeps his head. That is creepy. It was kind of creepy. And she sees him, and she's smiling, and she's feeding seagulls, and it's just... And she smiles back, and then she turns, and he's still staring at her, and I'm like... It's so weird. This is gonna sound odd, but comparing it to X Men Apocalypse, where I feel like Michael Fassbender showed I, I a lot. I thought he was lot, great in that. No, showed a lot it, of emotion. And without, don't compare the two. Don't compare don't the compare two. It's the not two. worth it. It's not worth it. It's okay. Not worth it. Wow. So For, he, okay, wow. I'll just say this now: you would have hated this movie. <laughs> okay. You would have hated it. Good to know. It. Okay. Would I've been bored or what? Oh, uh, you would have been bored. I was bored. So there were times when I was in the movie saying, "Man, I wish I didn't agree to review this movie with Durbin because." Mm, I would have taken a nap. <laughs> I, I and but I had a giant iced tea because our rewards card gave it to us for free, <laughs> and so I had caffeine to keep me up, cause it was slow. It was very slow. It was two hours and twenty minutes. It was very character driven, and the problem with the character driven is I didn't care for any of the characters. Oh man. Um, I just you see, um, Michael Fassbender and his wife, and I I can't remember the name of the actress. Um, I'm not really sure if I I've probably seen her in something else, but I just I, I, I don't didn't really remember recognize her. her that much either in the trailer. Yeah, and so you know how they fall in love. He sees her that one time. He works on the lighthouse for three months. He comes back to the city and um, sees her and she's like, oh, he's gonna take me out for a picnic. Like she was very bold. And then at the end of their picnic, she says, he's gonna ask me to marry him. And he doesn't, but then they write 
like four or five letters. Do they do it in a montage, like the trailer montages the letters? Yes, yeah, okay. pretty much. It's actually, I think all the letters are in the trailer. Um, so all four, five, six of them, and at the end, they decide to get married. But you know what? I will say this. They loved each other. That's good. You, you could see that there and was a lot of And you felt that watching the movie. I did. Okay. Well, I felt like, and he said he would do everything to protect her. Okay. And he did. So they're living on this lighthouse now. And um, you see in the trailer, she's laying on the grass and there's two crosses there right before you hear a baby crying in a boat. All in the trailer, so no spoilers there. And she's had not one, but two miscarriages. So after the first one, she didn't know how she was gonna deal with it, but she handled it. And Michael Fassbender was there every step of the way with her. Great supporting husband. You know, he he didn't let it get him down. It was hard, you could tell on him, or they were trying to make it look like it was hard on him, but he was strong. And all of a sudden he's in the lighthouse and he sees this boat drifting and he runs out, swims out, gets it, brings it in. And lo and behold, there's the baby that you see in the trailer. Oh. And so um, they make it their own. Um, I can't explain all the circumstances behind it because that is spoiler territory. But you see them, they see the daughter in the preview. See, she see that it's, you know, her daughter. You see Rachel Wise, who now comes in in the second half of the movie. And you see Rachel Wise talking with the family about the little girl. And you hear that she lost a little girl and her husband out in the ocean. Yep. When we were driving home from the movie Durbin, I asked him to predict the movie for me and tell me what happened. And he had probably 75% of it right. Yeah, I'm And good. you know- That's like a solid C. That's a solid C. And yeah. you, you can see from the trailers, they give 75% of the movie. You see that Rachel Wise lost a child out in the ocean. And oh wait, they found a child out in the ocean. Mm. So you can kind of draw the parallels in the preview alone. I mean, if I would have seen the trailer, I would have known. But I think my biggest issue with the movie is it was just slow. The acting was only so-so. I didn't really care about any of the characters. That's rough in a two hour and 20 minute movie when yeah, you don't care well, that I much told about you the characters. To take That's really out. slow. Yeah. And so, I personally would not recommend it. I would only give it two. Wow. Two out of I'm five stars? I'm wondering if two is too high. Oh. So wow. that's, I, no, I'd give it two out of five stars. Okay. Because I mean, parts of the acting was good and scenery was beautiful. It was well shot. Um, I just, I would not see it again. If it were on TV and I was flipping channels, I would flip faster past that one. Um, I did not read the book. I bet the book is way better, especially if it was a bestseller. So if you're thinking about seeing the movie, read the book instead. And if you've read the book and you've seen this movie, well, I guess in the comments, let us know what you think. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, I, I would, I kind of want to know if it's similar or not, but I will, oh, I got to tell you what my favorite part was. <laughs> um, my favorite part was in the previews for Sully. And there's this man, I'm like sitting in the center. He's like way down over there. It's a pretty big theater. And oh my gosh, Sully trailer comes up and he's like, do not take me to see that. <laughs> and his wife goes, shut up, honey. They, people can hear you. He's like, Ugh. he's like, well, we know what happened. She's like, people <laughs> might not. He's like, well, they all survive. And I'm just bummed that Durbin is seeing Morgan. So he can't enjoy this moment with me because it, it, was, it was pretty good. <laughs> when I was seeing uh, Morgan, there's an old dude sitting directly in front of me who just openly kept burping throughout the entire movie. And no matter how intense the scene was, he would just He must have also gotten a giant drink for free. I just saw him eat the popcorn. And he put soda in it. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. It was crazy. Yeah, so that's my review of it. So let us know if you saw Morgan or The Light Between Oceans. Is that what it's called? <laughs> let us know what you thought of those movies in the comments and while you're there hit that subscribe button be on top of the new videos coming out here on Durbania I'm Durbin I'm Laura thank you so much for checking out Durbania